Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles, and this is earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this is a card of someone who is um, wanting to develop a connection with you here. This could be a new person, or it could be someone who's just wanting to start something out. There's this feeling of putting in efforts and, you know, getting something off the ground. This person could be younger, younger than you, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but we are seeing someone who is determined to prove themselves. There's a very conscientious energy on their side. This is someone who is making an effort, going out of their way, you know, really going the extra mile and being consistent. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, A Energy. The Three of Swords, A Energy and the Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So you could be um, showing up in a more of a, a no-nonsense type of energy with this Queen of Swords showing up here. It looks like you you have experienced heartbreak before with this uh, Three of Swords. It could be quite recent because it looks like you're looking at it and you're analyzing it. So someone from your past could have broken your heart and you know it's like from that experience, you developed a bit of a hard shell because you are coming across as the Queen of Swords. Who is This is someone who is a bit... Um, you know, it can come off as kind of more head over heart type of person. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords can be quite tough, a tough exterior, no nonsense, blunt, and even a bit detached and um, cold to some degree. Um, but it it's someone who has become this way because of experience. And we do have that Three of Swords. So there is this heavy message of, you know, having experienced some sort of pain in love and it could have been quite recent. So there's someone here who's trying to get your attention. They want to be noticed by you, but it looks like you're not focused on them. You have your back turned towards them. This could even be that you have, you kind of have your back towards new people. You know, people really have to really impress you or, um, really you know go out of their way for you in order for you to give them the time of day with that queen of swords there's definitely a bit of a hard shell there um but there's definitely someone who wants to make you some sort of an offer here with the ace of pentacles there is an opportunity for a new beginning and because it's this pentacles energy and we have a page of pentacles this is definitely someone who is coming towards you with a very promising energy you know this is someone who isn't going to mess around this is someone who is showing up as having this desire to plant seeds and have something long-term, something long-lasting, something genuine with you. Um, and this person will prove themselves. I do see them being up for the challenge here because you're being seen as a challenge because if you're being seen as the Queen of Swords, you're, you're definitely not, you're being seen as someone who's not easy. So let's clarify these cards, um, Sagittarius. So we have the hanged man in the reverse, and this is Pisces energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of someone who is making a move, taking action. They're not waiting for an opportunity. Instead, they're creating it. So we did have that page of pentacles energy. Um, this is also you, uh, you showing up as someone who's not going to compromise in some way. There's something about you that's like you're seeing something your way and you're not really open to another person's perspective or way of doing things. 
um, it does look like you, you in the past you may have been very um, compromising and very patient with someone and you know it's like they could have taken advantage of your patience they could have wasted your time and it looks like you're not doing that anymore there's something about you becoming more uh, decisive um, firm in your boundaries okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the page of wands via energy the nine of pentacles earth energy and we have the six of pentacles earth energy so there's definitely someone coming towards you with communication initiating contact with the page of wands this person really likes you they're very excited about you um you know this is someone who's enthusiastic to move forward with you and they're they're willing to make initiate take initiative here um they do regard you very highly with this nine of pentacles they see you as someone who has very high standards uh, they see you as someone that they respect and they look up to. They really see you as successful and admirable. And I do see this person is really going to work hard to, um, you know, to get a chance with you here because it looks like they really are trying to initiate some sort of a partnership with you with the Six of Pentacles. They want something balanced with you, something fair. And uh, you're definitely dealing with someone who is appearing to be quite conscientious. This is someone who you know believes in reciprocity i don't see this person as someone who wants to take advantage or waste your time or use you this is someone who's genuinely wanting a partnership with you that will be solid and there's something about this person's word you can really count on it with this ace of pentacles it's a trustworthy kind of person um but they also are balanced this is someone who's serious but they also have a fun side with the page of wands we do have this page energy so this does look like someone who's fairly new in your energy and they are wanting some sort of an opportunity with you okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you sagittarius So we have a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Okay, so I do see you're, seeing, you're connecting with someone who is, again, conscientious, fair. Uh, they, with this Virgo energy, I do see them um, having this helper-like energy. This is someone with good morals and integrity, and they, they want to be there for you. This is someone who is a giver. Okay, so um, I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So someone really does want to put in time, effort, energy into getting close to you, connecting with you. They see you as worth the effort. So there's definitely someone who's, um, this person, you could already know them. They could be already in your energy, but they, they are trying to uh, get your attention to have some sort of a beginning with you here. But it does look like you may not notice them initially because you're very focused on this Three of Swords. So something that didn't work out in the past. It could be that you were even involved in a situation where someone was trying to uh, put you in a third party where they were giving to someone else and this person wasn't generous. This person that you dealt with in the past is because they were trying to juggle. Um, this new person is looking like someone who will make the effort. Okay, so I'm going to put out another card for you. Okay, so we have Red Rose, Hidden Secrets. Three things cannot be long hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. So there's definitely something about a heartbreak that you are analyzing here, but you're starting to see it for what it is, or you're getting some sort of new information regarding it. There's this feeling of, for some reason, really looking at something that hurts you with a more critical eye. Um, you're looking at it more objectively now that you are outside of the situation. And I do think you're getting some sort of understanding with regards to that and why something couldn't work out. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, 
Okay, so we have surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So I do see you're making peace with something that didn't work out, something that really could have broken your heart. But there's this understanding here. And we do, we do have the hanged man. It's in the um, reverse here. And this does show that you're not waiting on the past anymore. There's even a new opportunity coming towards you. It's like you're freeing yourself from something. This You're getting some sort of understanding about a heartbreak, a situation from your past here. And I do see you kind of letting it go and you are being advised to understand that someone can't be fixed this person that you may have dealt with they are who they are there's something about needing to be realistic about that situation okay so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really really good day sagittarius bye sagittarius